Hi, in this session, I am going to show you how to create a title page and header and a footer and the, also the final page and text for export. So now, let us go to the report in a change mode. So to go to the report, double click on ZRR2. So look for the report under library what you created double click on this and you can see this is your report what you have created so now you can go to the extras under that you have the report text and here you have a title page headers footer final page and also text for export so it means when you are exporting out from sap to spreadsheet or any other system you can also have text what text should be shown when you exporting this report out of SAP. now let me go to the title page under report text and here you can see this is a title page what should be the title for this report so under the title page you can enter what is the title of the report so this can be a report name what is the report name and also you can enter the values to create the report text you can go to the extras report text and you can go title page so here you have all these text one is title page header footer and page and text for export so now let us go to the title page under the title page yes you can enter the report name so let us say report name cost center comparison report and here the special variables you can see what are all the variables available here you have a general variables which is all these the date of output all this you can keep it so let me put at the end of the page at the end of this line I just put date of output so go to the variables here so look for a general text variables and date of output so you can give the colors if you want to give a different colors you can give it the colors or leave it to the system to decide so now click ok so the date will be shown under here and you can say controlling area so the controlling area can be your general variables or you can say this is a selection parameters so you have a selection parameters controlling area cost center group from period to period so now let me go to the controlling area so i want to the i want to show the value as well as text so now value and i just give a some space and then i give a description so now click ok so now the system will show the controlling area number and also the name and the other one is physical year so this is also my selection parameter so i enter physical year value and then click ok so period from so i enter period from click ok and to also is a value so now you can see controlling area physical area period from and period to so now i want to add here number of pages yeah here you can see number of page column so we just give a number of page click ok and now i want to give a date of generation so author of the report i will give you author of the report
So I selected these are all the further title page. So now click on save, go back and click on save. Now try to execute the report. Just if we execute the report. So now you, you don't see any header. So because it's a title page, so it's not a header page. So you need to scroll up to see the header information here so you can see. So here you have a lot of blank lines. If you want to delete, yes, you can delete also those lines. So now you can see the report name. It's a, it's a default. Now uh, you can see the date of output and also the page number and author of the report is defaultly is showing by the system here. So this is how you can create a title page. So title page is different from the header page. So title page, it will give you one additional page on top of the header. So this is called title page. So don't confuse with the header and title. Thank you.